Hey, welcome back, humans. Let's uh, pop up in this dormitory. Now that we uh, talked our way past Skip, using some pretty lame excuses, but the classic, oh no, my uterus, it's freaking out. And fuego utero. Let's see what's going on up right. in the boys' dorm. Which one is Drew's room? Oh man, Arcadia Bay fire weather. System? Yeah. Fire weather update. Arcadia Bay, Forest Watch, Arcadia Bay, Oregon. 4.51 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Saturday, May 8, 2010. Combination State Park Fire, now 50% contained. Additional road closures. Check local media. Cool. Guess I'll never see my name on one of these. I wouldn't have made it to senior year anyway. Oh yeah, so Blackwell's like a... a college prep kind of school, I think, where the seniors get to live on campus. Something like that. Yeah, that sounds familiar. So Drew is room 110. Alright. Thanks for geometry help, I owe you. Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? That's not even the right quote. It's, you shall not pass. There's no thou. Let's go... Elliot Hampton's room. Wonder what he's up to right now. Let's go snoop. Let's go see what's up in Elliot's room. It's pretty boring in here. Oh, lacrosse stick. Elliot's kind of preppy in his own way. Maybe he does belong at Blackwell. Maybe. Maybe not. I knew Elliot did well in class, but I didn't realize he was here on a full ride. Hey, good job, Elliot. The Prescott Foundation is just sending everybody to this school. Elliot does work really hard. Oh, wow, look at you. I guess I'm happy for him. Computer science. Hmm. The world breaks everyone, and afterward, some are strong at the broken places. It's true. Why does that make me sad? Because you're breaking and you don't feel strong yet? Probably. That's my guess. It's been so long since Elliot and I actually went to a concert together. Is that Jason Mraz? Or Bob Dylan? Or... Whatever. I've never been able to get Elliot to play for me. I guess he's either really good or <laughs> really bad. Probably the latter. Elliot's mom What's he been seems looking up? nice. Hey, sweetheart. Just got a letter about your scholarship and I couldn't be prouder. I've been showing it to the whole family. Your grandmother just said, of course he did. He's my grandson. <laughs> Also, your father called about July 4th. I told him it was too early to decide that you're focused on school right now anyway. But if you want to spend some time with him this summer, of course I'll support you. Don't break too many hearts over there. Mama. Lucky Dana. Yo, Elliot, you got English with Dana Ward, right? What's she like? I think she's hot. Say something cool about me to her, but not like I told you to do it. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Oh man, high school. Warren Graham is such a nerd. <laughs> hey, we'll get to meet Warren at some point. You're so wrong. I'll grant you, Ed Wood made some awful movies. But so many even more awesomely terrible movies came out after Plan 9 from Outer Space. It's called the worst movie ever made, but have you seen Night of the Lepus? That's a bunch of space zombies. What's a bunch of space zombies compared to giant carnivorous rabbits? Oh, Warren, you nerd. Huh. There's way less porn here than I would have thought. Oh, boy. Guards of Hell, book three, starting from the earliest stuff. Illuminati I meaning <laughs> Major Lucas Hampton. Oh, he's looking up his ancestors, I guess. The Tempest tickets, Blackwell Academy. The Tempest quotes, always oh, trying to impress. Trying to look up quotes. Chloe Price, Chloe Elizabeth Price, Chloe Elizabeth Price, Arcadia Bay. El he's really Googling me. Elliot Hampton, Arcadia Bay. 
how to tie a tie video. Dude, I shut you down. Why are you still prepping for our imaginary date? Wow. I remember this show. Crazy that Elliot would hold on to this picture after so long. He likes you. No shit. Oh boy. I guess I'm not the only one who keeps a diary. Oh, let's snoop. That's not half bad. When she left the room, it was electric. Flushed wings taut with agony. Okay. Dark. I see her in the brick and mortar, in the fresh cut grass, eyes flashing bright like coins. The fairy men can't have her, I say, but the dark gods laugh. Eyes flashing bright like coins, that's like an old Greek thing thing, I think, that you're supposed to put coins on the eyes of people who are being sent down the river Styx on the ferry. So, the dark gods laugh at his desire to keep her from the ferryman. Oh, she's... Ah, who is it that Elliot's writing about? That moment when the sun is almost there. The sea, so welcoming and warm, when pooled light smooths the nodding waves, when shapeless cold infinity conforms to one stark plane, and for a moment only, all is possible. All say yes. My heart says yes. Her eyes say yes. Yeah, but her mouth says no if you're talking about me. I don't know what you're, uh... Elliot is way more artistic than I thought. They see her, but don't see her. How is that so? When all the world is negative and dark, and she cries out like a screaming rocket, trailing fire. Well, Rachel is the fire, so she's kind of hanging on to my screaming rocket, kind of, I guess. Like, we're just, ah, fuck it, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, are these about me? <laughs> what the fuck, Elliot? You are about to die. Hey, that's what I wrote in my car. He shouldn't know that. How would he know that? Unless that's just a coincidence. How childish she is, how lovely and how cruel, her black knife spilling words and dripping ink. Hmm. What the fuck, Elliot, indeed. Let's bail before he gets back and wants to make out or something. Good, you didn't close it all the way. Gotta leave it the way you found it. That's the most important part of snooping. Wait a minute. There we go. Close that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Now we can head out. See, you gotta be smart. You gotta be thinking. Break a leg tonight. Is this Hayden's room, I guess? Or maybe... Yeah, good luck tonight, Hayden. Can't wait to see the show. You're gonna do great. I want to say that half the fun of weed is knowing it's illegal, but I think it'd be just as awesome over the counter. The Blackwell Academy Board of Trustees would like to formally remind its community that though the legalization of marijuana is currently being considered at the state level, the use of marijuana products remains illegal at both the state and federal levels. Prosecution of marijuana use or possession on Blackwell's campus will be strictly enforced. Okay. Brain Decay by Nathan Prescott. Nathan is such a creep. This is really gross. Orange, you glad I didn't say banana. You guys are mean to Nathan. Come on. I mean, I know he's a douche nozzle, but like... Great season, Mondo. Good luck at state. Oh. See, like, everyone else is, like, writing nice shit, and Nathan's got to deal with being called a creep. I mean, he should stop being a creep, but like... Oh, whatever. Trevor. Justin. Oh, man, you guys... Great game. You're, you're, not you're, but you're a beast. Need to talk to you, Zach. Yeah, uh, definitely Drew's room. Knock, knock. Mm, nobody home? Awesome. Let's just pop on in here and see what's crack a lacking. Hmm. The lighting is nice in here, coming in through those windows. Good. <sighs> Drew's not here. 
Okay, <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? Hmm. Is this Mikey's stuff? Mikey's figures. <laughs> Playing that game yesterday was actually fun. There's Calamastia, even though she's dead. Like, super dead. Durgaron. Durgaron, yeah. the unscarred. That dead. Yeah, we done got him. Bad guys don't usually look so obvious, but this is still awesome. <clears throat> Sergeant Blood versus Maniacal. Uh, awesome. Dr. Timebot, the Jurassic Edition. Pretty sure Jurassic is spelled with one R and two S's, right? Ah, whatever. Too bad I lost my release form. I was really looking forward to running all those sweaty laps. Liar, liar. <laughs> Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. It does appear so. Oh, man. Looks like Drew's dad is having a hard time. Mm. So he moved from a house to an apartment to now the homeless shelter. That is not... Not the direction you want to be heading. <laughs> they look so happy. Uh, they look content. I mean, maybe it's just the awkward picture. Because, you know, they're all hand-painted pictures and stuff, so Holy it's a little shit, funky. Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. That would make sense. Bet the dinner choices are steak or... Steak. <laughs> yeah, with football players, probably. <sighs> for the love of God. No, for the love of the game. You really can't read, can you? All right, let's I check didn't out his realize computer. Drew was this good at sports. I bet he can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. I truly feel that you're a student athlete who has the potential to make a powerful impact on blah blah blah. Okay, get an offer to thing. Hello, Chris. Thank you so much for your consideration and the generous scholarship offer. I regret to inform you that I have chosen to attend Oregon State in the fall. Ah, so he's turning down Frank scholarships. Frank wasn't lying. Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his fellow meatheads. Hey, bro, do you have any more happy pills? Oh, from Zach. I'm beat as hell. You saw me take that hit for you last night, right? Nobody gets in my boy's grill on my watch. But hook me up, will you? Something just to take the edge off is all I need. Man... Oxy's not the best, uh... So many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. Getting hooked on opioids is never a good call. Drew, what an amazing game, son. Couldn't believe that third quarter conversion. You got moves, no doubt. I spent the day at the library again. Computers aren't my thing, you know that, but I'm trying to learn. There's a remedial skills class Mikey made me promise to take, so I'm gonna do that next. See about learning how to type worth a damn. Never had to type on a fishing boat. Taking me to forever to finish this email. Prospects for work are rough, but you know how it is. Don't worry about your pops. Keep your eye on that damn ball, and there's nothing that'll stop you. I'm proud of you. P.S. Give me Mike. Give Mikey a hug for me. It'll. I'll be by tomorrow afternoon to take him to the clinic. Don't forget. All right, clinic. So it sounds like Mikey's got some health problems. All right, let's check this obvious trunk where he obviously <sighs> keeps all of his there? important shit. All right. Guess I have to crack a four-digit code. Do I pretend to look around the room for a while to figure out what it is, or do I just go to the Plenty athletic of possible form? possible combinations here. And know from my previous playthrough that it's Mikey's birthday, which is 1227. Okay. I think I'm just going to do that because I don't feel like wasting time. Let's just get going. 1227. It's cute that it's Mikey's birthday. Yes. This is it says kind something of about Drew. Fun. That like he cares about his brother. Ah. Uh, like Frank said, not did little Drew nobody is just a type. Too? And like Samuel said, nobody is just one thing. <sighs> Jackpot. Money. I'm kind of good at this. Yeah, dude. You're like a sneakrit spy. Sneakrit. Heh. I just noticed the poster of the chick on his wall, by the way. The classic okay. high school boy Got the money. poster. Time to bust out of here. 
All right, let's go. Oh, oh, it's Mikey. Hey, Elamon. Chloe, what where's King Tiberius? <laughs> uh, 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 I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here. So why? Because Bro, I wanted to. We gotta go. Oh, okay. Yesterday Hi. wasn't enough? You wanna go another round? Uh. Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff. Let's move. Drew, relax. Slow down. Oh, boy. Shit. You're making me think you're nervous about something. Who the hell is that? No one. Stay That's in here not and don't say accurate. anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh boy. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you. I've got I that money. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look. That's never true. Season. People always We just get started high. two a days. Those are going to kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. Why is he lying about it? I heard about your dad's First job, dad. by the way. Yeah. Tough times. Yeah. Bet a grand would mean a lot. I like the cut to the figures. Where's my money? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking <laughs> money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna... Uh, Where is it? Uh, Please! Just give me one week. Uh, You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. Mikey, uh... I'm sorry to have to do this, kid! No uh, one steals from me! Uh, no one. Fuck. Fuck! Damon's a fucking psycho. Ah, oh, fuck. Stop. God damn it. It's okay. I, I, I've got your money. Ah, I didn't realize we had an audience. Hey, Mikey. Okay. Who the hell are you? Frank sent me. To collect. That's what Frank was going on about? Were Wait. You not are you the bitch who tuned up Sheldon? That yeah, fuck that guy. Guy at the mill? He he was an asshole. He kept harassing me. He needed to get the message. Frank was right about you. What's that? Let's see to the mean? cash. I hope he was saying good things. We need that. Whoa! Be nice to Mikey. I like you, Mikey. It's all here. Mikey, you need to help your big brother. Help him understand that I take this shit seriously. Come on. Mikey's got nothing to do with this, man. You help your brother understand that if he steals from me again, I'm coming back here and I'm going to break his knees. Thanks, kid. That's a tell Frank I owe him one. I'm probably not good for the football <sighs> player to have broken knees. We needed that money. You just screwed us over. Are you crazy? That guy could have killed you. You yeah, don't you know don't anything fuck with crazy. about this situation. It's none of your business. <sighs> Yes, it is. Mikey's my friend. I don't want him to get hurt. I mean, he. You think he you're some kind of hero? Just get hurt. Stepping in for poor Nathan Prescott, and now you're messing with our lives. Uh, Mikey, uh, I gotta look at your arm. Just leave us alone. Uh, I'm sorry. Look. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't get our dad off the streets. 
does it? No, but neither does getting killed by a drug dealer. We'll so be okay. Sorry, but like, I wasn't about to let you get the shit kicked out of you. I'm sorry that you got your wrist all busted, Mikey. It's kind of a sucky thing. Oh well. So Damon's a freak. And we don't fuck with Damon. That's... Good to know. Faux show. Sure. pretty set it's so peaceful sorry I just kind of forgot I was even recording I was just zoning out listening to the crickets paying attention to the pretty art what's up Hayden this day has been so messed up at least I can talk to Rachel now. If I can find her back here. Alright. Well, first let me check my text. Oh, wait, I got... Oh, okay. Max. Fuck. Remember that easy job for Frank I told you about? Yeah, not quite. First I jacked Samuel's keys, then used my Jedi powers to get past Skip into the dorms. By which I mean talking about my lady bits until he freaked out and let me in. Took a brief detour into Elliot's room and read his poetry. Dude's got feelings. For me, I think. I'm flattered, I guess? Anyway, found the cash, but then Drew and Mikey showed up, followed by Frank's psychopath boss, Damon. Have you ever met someone that you just knew never to fuck with? I hadn't until today. Damon started beating the shit out of Drew for the money he owed. Drew wanted me to stay with Mikey, but I couldn't take the sound of Damon hurting him. I opened the door and gave them and gave the money to the asshole just so that he'd leave Drew alone. Unfortunately, Mikey tried to be a hero and got hurt. It was all so 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 fucked. And the most fucked part that I had anything to do with it. Chloe, the peacemaker. Spend a few minutes with Damon Merrick and you can tell that he's a peace-loving guy who gardens in his spare time and loves unicorns and rainbows. Oh, and hunting down anyone who owes him money. It's the simple pleasures. Honestly, I don't know a whole lot about the guy. The one thing everyone will tell me? The guy is bad news. Yeah. Yeah, that seems pretty clear. Chloe, it's Steph. I'm on my way to the hospital. Mikey's arm's broken. Drew told me a little bit about what happened. Shit, I didn't know it was that bad. The situation's so fucked up. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Thanks, I will. She's supposed to be stage manager. S.G. Yeah. Must be Steph. Sucks that she has to miss this. It does. It's also kind of my fault. Oops. Let's take her job. Me took her job. Chloe Price presents Firewalk. Laser Light Spectacular. There you go. Nice job. You goofball. Never stop loving fun, Chloe. What's up, Hayden? Hey, Hayden. Address me as Ferdinand, good lady. Uh, okay. Uh, <sighs> alright. Um, hey, Ferdinand. Sup, Chloe. I mean, sup, fair maiden. <laughs> Great, uh, method acting. Really? Thanks! No, no, not really. I really don't think you understand what- uh, okay, okay. Let's go talk to Dana. What's up, Dana? Hey, Dana. 
Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? I don't know. Did Doug dig How David's garden? Know. Or did David She's doing did vocal warm ups. Dig David's garden? Betty bought a bit of butter, but she found the butter bitter. Oh, Betty no. bought a bit Sucks of Sucks for butter, Betty. But she found Betty bought a bit of butter. Looks like Victoria butter. has finally pushed the Dana bitter. over the edge. Nah, she's just doing vocal warm ups. Clueless, klutzy, Chloe, clumsily crowded, careful creatives. Clueless, klutzy, Wait a second. Chloe. Ooh. Clueless, klutzy, Chloe, clumsily. All crowded, right, careful. sorry. Gosh. What's up, Rachel? How's your super long errand going? Yo, crazy shit happened in Drew's room. Like, really bad. Oh no, are you okay? Do you need to talk about it? Yeah, later. Don't worry till after the show's over. I'm backstage. Great, on my way. Alright. Hey, Mr. Keaton. Sup, Mr. Keaton. Why, if it isn't the muse of the Blackwell Drama Department. You're giving me way more Tell credit me than I deserve, lady. though. Do you still believe true love exists? Yeah, dude. <laughs> sure, I think so. But it's a lot weirder and scarier than poets and pop songs make it out to be. <laughs> you might be surprised, my dear. Budding dramaturge, may your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. Eh? <laughs> Word. Stephanie was our lion of the light board, but platitudinal though it may be, the show must sojourn forth. Yeah. That dude is weird. He's one of those people who uses fancy words just to make himself sound fancy, you know? He's trying to be all dramatic. I think it's a Socrates or maybe an Aristotle quote that says to think as wise men do but speak as the common man does, something like that. And he is very clearly not speaking as the common man do. I should find Rachel. Yeah, you should, but also let's I've look at the swords. I've already seen what happens when Rachel plays with fire. Rachel plus swords should be fun. Oh boy. All right, let's see what's going on with Sammy over here. Hey, Samantha. Shh. Oh. Why? What's up? Nathan, please. I can't do it, Dad. I'm sorry. Keep oh, your God. voice down. Nathan's dad looks like Listen he's to me. really laying into him. I wonder what it's about. You oh don't understand. They all hate me. They're just gonna laugh at me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't know. Because you show weakness. Just like you're doing right now. Dad? Uh, when will you learn that this isn't about you and your problems? This is about the Prescott name. My name. Come on, man. You're a... You dirtbag. will not embarrass me. You're embarrassing yourself Nathan. by being a terrible yes. father. Good. Now. Break a leg. I'll see oh you God. after the show. What a scumbag. Uh, no, yeah, fuck off, man. Great pep doc, Mr. P. Everyone knows the best way to instill confidence in someone is... By intimidating them. I don't know who you are, but mind your own business. <laughs> your eyes I'd are way to. too close together. Don't you have, like, a private bunker filled with gold coins where you could have these conversations? What a scum lord. Ethan. Cool makeup. Fuck! Oh, wow. What's up, Samantha? Hey. Nathan's dad is some asshole, huh? I know. I wish he'd just go away and leave him alone. Hmm. <laughs> Nathan's dad sucks, but you should be careful what you wish for when it comes to parents. Oh, Chloe, I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. That's okay. For what? You didn't kill my dad. Or did you? <laughs> <laughs> that was a 
joke. I know. Your dark sense of humor reminds me a lot of Nathan's. Actually, the two of you are really similar. Say what? Uh, what the hell does that mean? I'm serious. You're both artistic and surprisingly sensitive. You've been through a lot, and a lot of people unfairly judge you for it. I think you stood huh. up for Nathan yesterday because you know what he's going through. Nathan's hurt, and Maybe. he needs help. That makes sense. But whenever I try to help him, it always seems to make things worse. If you were Nathan right now, what would you want me to do? Mm. Mm. Uh, I think when I'm alone. super angry, I need to let it all out. The last thing I want is someone trying to calm me down. Case in point, how pissed he was when we tried to help him yesterday. If I were you, I'd give him space and wait for him to come to you. <sighs> that actually makes sense. Thanks, Chloe. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bitter much? I don't get bitter. I get even. Wonder which bachelor contestant Victoria stole that line from. <laughs> wow. So she responded to our response to her bullshit. Uh, probably shouldn't go in the boys' dorm. Let's go. Rachel? In here. We spent plenty of time backstage. Ooh. Is that Victoria? Oh shit, what are you doing? timing with that sneaky like pulled right back into cover whatever the last that second. was it was shady as shit yeah i need to find whatever victoria slipped into that drink pro tip if you want to get away with doing something don't look around before you do it because that makes you look really obvious i got a text from frank i just talked to day oh wait hey i just talked to damon Good work. You can meet me tomorrow to pick up your cut. Your friend's an asshole. What matters is he's happy. Whatever. Price. You did the right thing. Uh, alright. Wait, what's this note say? Adding putting on makeup to the long list of reasons I wouldn't be caught dead on stage. <laughs> what's in here? What's in your shitty purse, Victoria? Victoria Chase is actually a pretty talented photographer. What does that piss me off so much? Look at Nathan, all bummed out. His dad's such a piece of shit. Hey. The Brothers North. Is that Principal Wells being depressed that he's not made out of bronze? Or gold, or that, that's probably not a gold statue. Look, he's like looking yearningly at the statue like he wants to be a statue. <laughs> I don't know. And then there's a picture of Evan taking a picture of birds. Or a picture of birds with Evan taking a picture of Victoria in it. Hmm. Whatever. And pills. Muscle relaxers? Oh. Really? Uh oh, put that shit away. Hurry now before your tea gets. <sighs> Hi! <laughs> what are you doing here? This area is for cast and crew only. Or yeah, but you're are an you understudy. Is that sabotage technically the play like you sabotaged my homework? So. God, you're pathetic. I'm just hanging out, chilling. I'm here for Rachel. I'm here to support Rachel. How nice. Oh, look at her face. She's I so pleased. I want to make sure she's Aww. relaxed. 
before the show. <sighs> Whatever. Like muscle relaxers, I get it. Oh, Rachel Amber, it was customary among the thespians of ancient Greece for the understudy to offer hot tea to the lead actress on opening night. As a way of showing appreciation for her tutelage. It is in that spirit that I offer you this beverage. May it help to reveal the essence of your talents for all to see. Wow. That, um... Thanks. Ooh. Nah, let's be sneaky about it. Did you hear that? Hear what? I didn't hear anything. Oh, I hear it now. It... It sounds like Mr. Keaton's calling for you. He is? Oh, he probably wants my thoughts on the set dressing. Okay, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Play into her ego, it's so easy. What's so going easy. on? He it probably wants my tea. thoughts on the set dressing. That is the least surprising thing ever. What should we do? Switch the cups, Obvi. Problem <laughs> solved. <laughs> Damn, Chloe Price. What would I do without you? Have super relaxed muscles, I guess. <laughs> Mr. Keaton's busy with Nathan. I'm sure he'll call on my aesthetic sensibility soon. In the meantime, let us drink. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, make sure you drink it all. Your instrument will thank you. Oh boy. I am so grateful to have such a kind and caring friend as you, Victoria. Aw, <laughs> same -sies. Same -sies. God, what a bitch. She reminds me of Regina George. Same -sies too. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you out there. Break a leg. So, that happened. This should be good. <laughs> Just when I thought this day couldn't get any batshit crazier. Oh, hey, uh, that's mine. The yeah, tower is. is a tarot, you know? It symbolizes sudden change. I always pegged you for the dramatic type. I blame the company I keep. Hmm. <laughs> Sweet party, we're ruined. The show is ruined. There goes Victoria. <laughs> That was quick. Oh no. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Uh -oh. Juliet is waylaid. Waylaid? That infernal <laughs> inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. <laughs> Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Oh no. Infernal Truly, we are Inferno. A lot. I like that. Even one. my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. Mr. Cretan, <laughs> I have revelations to reveal. Rachel Amber is on drugs. <laughs> Look at her. Her face is so blurry and pretty. <laughs> Uh, she's clearly been drugged. What? I mean, drugged herself. She loves drugs. Don't you? <gasps> <laughs> you dung goofed, Vicky. Touche, fates. Touche. <laughs> oh, man. Feels so good. What? Oh, no. Mr. Keaton, no. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. I don't know the lines. The romantic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, oh, my dear, shit. have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear. What if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? Oh boy. <laughs> I'd Victoria's say just chilling you're there. super fucked. 
Yeah. Chloe, please. For me. Oh, shit. You can't say no to that. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. Oh, man. You look good, though. It's a the cool outfit. You're even... It's like a raven. Like the, the whole raven symbolism thing. That's, that's a, a theme. I know you don't know what the, I'm talking about because this is your world and not a work of fiction in your mind, Chloe. Person who doesn't really exist. Pot. I sure am happy to see you right now. Oh, dude. Gotta get... The best part of being kicked out of school is never having to worry about getting kicked out of school. There you go, get baked before you go on. It'll make you a creative genius or something. <laughs> Poor Drew. He was just trying to keep his little brother safe, and there I was, stealing from him. Yeah. God, that Damon Merrick guy was such a freak. It's hard to imagine Frank being mixed up with a guy like that. But then again, I guess I don't really know Frank all that well. Hmm. And just mannequin heads? Is that what we're looking at? Are we done chatting now? I really hope Drew oh. and Mikey are going to be okay. Me too. They seem like nice guys. Even Drew, even though he's kind of a prick. Alright, are we done? We're done. You're high enough. Don't want to get so baked you can't remember your lines. Come on. Speaking of which, let's read this shit. I seriously have to memorize all of this? Thanks, Rachel. Alright, let's see. I come in. Come away, servant. Come, I'm ready now. Approach my aerial. Come. Oh, hail, great mistress. I come to answer thy best pleasure. Hast thou spirit performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? I boarded the king's ship in every cabin. I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring. The most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves tremble. My brave spirit, who was so firm, so constant that this coil could, would not infect his reason? Not a soul. The king's son, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped. Cried, hell is empty and all the devils are here. But are they aerial safe? Go to the ship. All right. Not a hair perish, and as thou badest me, I have dispersed them about the island troops. Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed, but there's more work. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. I want my liberty before the time be out. No more. That's my noble mistress. And exit. Easy peasy. Okay. Why does it feel like Steph is mocking me from afar? <laughs> oh, graffiti that shit. When life gives you lipstick, use it to tag shit. Yeah, girl. Uh, death. Got it. Let's see, what's she doing? Ah. Nice. Alright. Um. What's out here? Oh. Right. What's this? Nope. <sighs> Looks like I'm late. As usual. Alright, uh, before actually going out there to start the play, I think I'm gonna end it here. Hopefully I can remember all those lines for later. Um, I'm sure I will. Anyway, I will see everybody time next time. Big debut. Mm -hmm. Joy. Later, my dudes.